Peter Grant, you know, and he's uh, he's up to his neck as usually, uh, as he usually is in uh, dealing with shenanigans and crime and and problems. This time he's asked a favour. I think I can give away that. That's in the first chapter. Um, basically, he was told that he would have to grant a favour to Lady Ty at the when she rescues him from underground in the, in the third book. And in this one, this is her asking the favour. She has a personal problem and she wants him to solve it. Well, this isn't a fantasy series, so this is not a series, it's not like Dance with Drake, you know, A Song of Ice and Fire. There is no beginning, middle and end of this sequence. It's much more like uh, Rebus or Morse. This is a problem that people have, I think, probably because we cross genres. So some people expect there to be a fantasy arc, and there isn't a fantasy arc. Uh, well, uh, it's very simple. I was working for Waterstones as a bookseller, and uh, I was going bankrupt, and I thought, I've got to do something. And I had been a writer before, obviously, uh, unsuccessfully. And I thought, I know, I'll write a book. And the reason for that was I was shelving books. And I noticed that I was shelving people I'd never shelved before. And I thought, these people have been published. My main thing is when I find a book is I see if it's on audio because I like listening to audio books. I listen to them while I'm walking and I listen to them while I'm going to bed. And it has to be the right narrator. I find the guy um, Grover who reads the Lewis McMaster Bougeau yeah. books, he's really excellent. I don't know, there's something about his voice.